Well, here's a little update video, kind of a sort of a walk around. It's been a while since I did one of these. This is the new carriage. Excuse the camera jumping around with the quad fans. You can see we have fans on all four corners. And they move quite a bit of air. Matter of fact, here, like my son says, it sounds like a quadcopter. Put it on high. <laughs> I'll go up to 100% and you'll hear it kick in. That's 100% on the speed. And surprisingly enough, the airflow is just wonderful. If I put my finger right up here to the nozzle, just under the nozzle, there's not much airflow, but you drop just barely below it, and there's all kinds of airflow. In fact, there's so much airflow, I kind of doubt I'll be able to run over about 60% on the overall airflow. Let me uh, set this down to somewhere in the vicinity of 60% here. Right somewhere about in there. Oops. Wrong menu button. That dropped down quite a bit. And that is like 49%. That's about how loud it is. I'm I'm gonna guess the feeling from the airflow from both sides, probably 50-60% is more than enough airflow to cool a print. Um We'll find out. I'm sure I've got a lot of adjusting to do on these nozzles to get them where I want them, but I'll give you the quick walk around. There's going to be a few changes yet to made and be made in the next version. The next one, this bracket won't be here and this thing will lay back. This bracket will actually continue out to the front and then the wiring will be tied here and then it will lay back. That'll give me about another 20 plus millimeters in height on the carriage to print a little bit higher. I think I can print up to about 100 and, or 245, 50 millimeters uh, right now in its present configuration. I might get a little bit more than that when I'm done. But here's the back half of the carriage. And it's solid. I mean, it's real solid. It does not flex a lot. The uh, way that it's mounted is it's sandwiched between the back plane, the metal back plane that the carriage mounts to, and the actual carriage itself. So this would actually, this same setup would work on the Pegasus beautifully and I could redo this to work on a single extruder Pegasus quite simply if somebody's interested in trying one I uh, would draw it up for them to play with it. These are 50 millimeter radial fans I found the nozzles on Thingiverse um, they just seem to work out really well. I'm really happy with it. So we will see how, how the whole thing goes. I'll post some more video. Tomorrow I'll probably do some bridging tests and play with the fan speeds and I gotta do the PID uh, adjustments on the bed of the print head. So I gotta put the silicone socks back on. I took those off for the moment to play around. They were just in the way of figuring out where the fans were going to be. So 
Uh, tomorrow will be a whole lot more telling. Matter of fact, I, I'm going to turn the print head on right now and make sure everything comes up to temperature. I haven't... Yep, I can hear the fan kicking in. There's 205 on nozzle 1, 205, nozzle 2, dead. We'll set to, oh, we'll see, 65. on their way up so it heats up fairly quick I could probably speed it up a little bit shutting the bed fan off a little quieter now <laughs> you can tell those fans are pulse width modulated they scream that's all right it doesn't hurt them go back and look at the temperature so yeah it's been what, a couple minutes and we're within 50 degrees 40 degrees of being able to print on both print heads and we're within 15 degrees on ABS the whole thing will turn on and I, I can print in about three maybe four minutes and if I'm printing ABS it might take five minutes or so to get up to temperature so there we go the hotheads are just about there running good no problems no smoke no flames no fire still have to mount the power supply Got to change this panel out for a gray one because I was too lazy the other day. But it's one of those round to it projects. Yeah, I'll get get it done probably before the covers go on. But there she is. She's ready to print right now. So I, it, it overshot it a little bit. So I think the PID definitely a little generous. This head's pretty good. This one overshot it and came down actually I didn't get that one to 205 I got it to 204 but no big deal and nozzle and then bed let's go ahead and see how long it takes to get that up 110 is the highest uh, I think I've ever ran on uh, ABS, usually between 100 and 110. See, it, it, it rises pretty quickly. So that takes just a couple minutes to get it up to speed. The beast is ready. The beast, my son named it. Did get the power switch on here. These are the hinges that I drew up. One here and one down here for the front door. That will have Lexan or acrylic of some kind to open and close. I have, uh, I put clear panels on halfway on the side so I have some light shining through on the sides. Clear panels on the top. The back, the back corners will be black. Um, I think the complete top will be clear. Anyway, I don't know what you were seeing there on the camera, but anyway, she can see that's been what a minute and a half. It's already up to 88, 89, 90. It's just climbing. These power supply connections here aren't even getting warm. Uh, maybe just slightly above room temperature. 
the uh, one power supply is for just the bed the other power supply is for the heating elements and the ramps electronics and uh, the bed supply will probably run all the interior lighting as well anyway that's kind of a walk around update on what's going on I'll probably do a print video tomorrow of it printing something but there's a bit of a long-winded update I hope you enjoyed the video hit like if you did subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with the updates thanks for watching the video we'll post another one soon